Hello everyone, uh, in this tutorial I thought I would show you guys how to write your first Java application. Uh, I'm going to assume you guys already have your integrated development environments and your JDK already set up. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump in. Uh, I use jcreator, uh, but you guys can use whichever you prefer to do your Java work. Alright, so you're going to want to make a new Java file. And you might not have this in your ID. It might just come up with a blank document. But I'm going to name this first program and I'm going to save it to the desktop. Okay, so now we have a blank file here and what you're going to do is you're going to always start with your first line of your programs with public class and then whatever you named your file. This is very important. So for here it would be first program. So you're always going to have this as your first line. And secondly, and oh, these things always end in open and close brackets. Uh, and then you're always going to have this, at least for now, public static void main and then this little confusing phrase of words here this really doesn't matter at this point um, pretty much all of your programs are going to need to have this line right here always 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 this is the uh the block of code that starts your program without it your program cannot run and this also has open and close braces okay so this is the basic structure for every java program um like i said you have your public class and then whatever you named your uh, java file in which case it would be first program and then you always have public static void main this little weird phrase args pirates in java and and these things always have open and close braces um and this program all it's going to do is it's just going to print out a message so the only thing we need is system dot out dot print and then parentheses and close parentheses and then a direct quotation hi there you just wrote your first Java program. Okay. And after and that's it for this program. That's all we need to do. And so every time you think you're done, you have to compile it. Which would be I usually just use the um thing. Well there's a thing, it's compile, or in this case it's build but the correct term is compile and before you run your programs you need to compile your program and that means it just checks for errors and if it doesn't find any errors it makes a class file and right here on our desktop we have first program dot java that's our java source file it's what we edit with and then after we compiled it, 
we got a first program dot class file. And the computer runs the class file, not the Java file. You just use the Java file to write your program. And when you compile it, it makes a copy of your program that the computer can read. And after you have a class file, you can run. And it runs the class file for you. And it just printed right here. Hi there, you just wrote your first Java program. And if you remember, that's what I wrote right here. So that's pretty much it right now with the basics. Um, just the important thing is to always have your public static void main thing. Always, always, always. That's what your program needs to run. And public class and the name of your Java file. And then after that, you compile to make a class file. And then you run the program. And it'll come up in the DOS console. Well, I hope you guys learned something. And I will be making another tutorial in a very, very short time. Thank you for watching.